episode 3 of Free Power from the local radio station. I'll be glad when this one's over. Just want to stick a fork in it and finish it off. Anyway, stick around, show you the final results and a little bit of explanation. W1VLF. Hey everybody, my name is Paul, W1VLF, and welcome back to the lab. Uh, today we're going to finish up the free power from the local radio station, right behind the camera. Um, I had a, lot, a, a number of questions, so we'll try and answer those. Um, the, the big thing today is I bypassed the ballon that's out on the antenna. Uh, that ballon is designed to operate down to about uh, 1.5 megahertz, so operating at 610 kilohertz, pretty lossy. So uh, we'll, I'll answer a couple of questions along the way, which is where is this radio station, how much power is it running, and how far is it from you? I'll do uh, a couple of screen captures and then show you the, the setup. So um, in, in this episode, we're going to finally finish this off because I want to use my antenna again. <laughs> and it's sitting there just lighting LEDs. Anyway, um, I think we'll just take the camera over, give you, show you what's going on on the bench there, uh, excuse me, on the ham shack um, area, um, what the new power levels are. And I'll, I'll give you a, a head, heads up right now. It's 70 milliwatts, which is a lot of power. Um, I'll show you it on the graph and, and whatnot. So let me uh, let me set up for that, and we'll get to it, and we'll get this thing done, and onto something that's a lot more fun. Hey guys, I just want to take a quick walk outside. I was plowing snow, and. Uh, just seems like it won't stop snowing here. Wanted to go over by the, the dipole hidden up, of which I am extracting energy. Boy, you can't see anything out here. I can see my dog. Sophie, can I get you anything? <laughs> oh well, anyway. So I'm going to bring you out to the dipole uh, connection where I bypassed that ballon. And Oh, look at that. There's my good wife, Lisa, up there shoveling snow off the deck while I'm making a video. Oh, well, <clears throat> try not to get covered in snow here. Any, anyway, I'm under the deck, and there's the ballon that I used to have in series uh, with the open wire feed. Going up to the tower. And now what I did was I took both of those wires, put them in parallel, bypassed the ballon up here, and sent it into the house on just a, a single strand of wire. So that meant any losses in the ballon at five, 600 kilohertz are not, uh, not in series. So that's one of the reasons why you'll see a lot more power, um, <laughs> relatively anyway. Hey Lisa, you want to say hello? No, nope, I'm good. She's good. All right, she's the best. Sophie, you comfortable? Can I get you anything? Look at me. Come here. Oh my God, she moves. Come on up. Come on up. Give me a hug. Good girl. Say hi to everybody. Yeah, Sophie. Okay. All right, go back to sleep. That's why. That's why she's laying there. All right. So, quickly, and try to be as unboring as possible. Um, there's a wire here that comes in from the outside. I tied both ends of the dipole, the 350 foot dipole, together. And so this is being fed sort of like a, um, a vertical with um, a whole bunch of top loading on it. The feed line is probably 275 feet long and the antenna is about 300 feet split in half. Follow the wire over, got the uh, W1VLF clip lead. 
There's some uh, some L part of the uh, antenna tuner. There's the L input, and there's the capacitance to ground. The output. Whoa. Yeah, that's right. These are actually bright enough so that I can't even really look at them for more than a half a second. Anyway, here's the uh, the tuning the LC network. Out of that goes into uh, the diode bridge. Four of those 1N48, uh, 4148s, about 10,000 microfarads of filter capacitance, and um, here's the diodes. I'll try to get them from the side, and as you can see, the camera finally irises down. It's they're they're pretty bright, and here's the voltage across that string right now, 18 and a half volts, at about 3.8 milliamps. Oops. So at about 3.8 milliamps. So it's, um, I mean, you're not going to disconnect from the local utility, but 70 milliwatts, it's a fair amount of power. And at night, when the, when the station's on low power, 250 watts, this LED array provides absolutely enough light to be a night light for the whole room here. It's unbelievable. Anyway, let's uh, go over to the computer and take a look at... Uh, some stuff there, I'll show you where the station is and all that. And uh, a graph of the power and how much it changed. So let's let's do that and then uh, then we can finish this up. Oh, and there's a little chunk of uh, video outside showing what, it, what I did there. Over to the computer. Okay, so through the magic of video editing, we're back in what seems like an instant. So here is the... Um, here is a Google Maps uh, shot of where I am and where the station is. Um, here's, here's where I'm located up here. And here's the radio station here. And we're a distance of 1.18 miles away from the center of their array to, uh, to where my antenna is located. That's more than I thought it was. Um, this is a 1,000-watt um, daytime station with a three-tower array. And pretty, um, pretty intense signal here, plus 60, plus 70, and probably even more than that um, with this antenna configuration because the power is so much higher now. Um, let's go on to the next, uh, the next shot here. Whoop, let's see. Um, and this is uh, kind of a close-up of their antenna system from the sky. It's a three-tower array, W1SNG. So... That's that. And it's a mile, and from this point, it's a mile and a half. Or excuse me, 1.18 miles away. So let's look at um, this. I showed this, this website before, but this is a great, great website. Um, let's type in WSNG right here. And we're going to go to that. And it gives us all the really pertinent information. The daytime coverage, nighttime coverage transmitter location so if you click this it'll take you right to google maps um, it's a kilowatt during the day and 500 watts at night with two different patterns so let's go to the daytime map and take a look at this okay i'm gonna uh i'm gonna zoom in then on top of that i'm gonna do i'm gonna zoom in even more let's see how do we get that to come up here i'll oh, scroll it okay so the station is here and if you see this little red arrow I am just about at the end of this little red arrow. So this is their local signal contour. Uh, what is this, 20 miles? So that distance, probably 20 miles up to here. And I'm one mile away. So you can see why I have so darn much signal um, at my house here. So let's go over to uh, the power calculation sheet. Um, with one diode before we had you know, 13 milliwatts and then two. We found the peak, which was at 27 milliwatts with four diodes. Uh, in this case, with the antenna strapped together and used as a, being fed sort of as a vertical with a big big top hat, we have uh, 18 volts instead of 14 because we're now we're across uh, instead of 11 at our peak power. Um, actually, right because there's the uh, there's where the peak power milliwatt and power uh, occurred. And now we're at 18 uh, volts across the six diodes, which I just showed you before. 3.8 milliamps, um, which is even more current than we had in any of these others. And we're up at 70 milliwatts. Um, 
that's a reasonable a reasonable amount of power. Um, it's uh, let's see, what is it? Where was the greatest? Uh, the Twenty-seven. It's uh, what's that? Fifty-four. It's almost three times as much as what we had uh, before. Um, just by taking that ballon out, which of course the ballon is there's not is not inherently no problem with the ballon. It works great. Uh, it's just that it's not really designed to pass a lot of signal down at 600 kilohertz. So that's where we made the improvements there. And then we'll just go to the to the graph here. Um, I think it's chart number one, right? Okay. So you can see in the chart here. Here's one LED. This these are the power, the amount of milliwatts that we're scavenging from the air. Um, 13 milliwatts with one LED, 20, you know, 25, there's 27 with five LEDs. And then at 20, at, um, let's see, was it five? Been messing around with this for a long time. So it takes, uh, no, it wasn't, it was four. Okay. So let's go back to that, that chart again. There's chart. So at four LEDs, one, two, three, four. We made the most power by this was matching to the antenna system. And then with five LEDs, well, yeah, we had uh, we had more voltage as you would see in that other chart. Okay, I'm not going to go through all that crap again because I'm I'm sure I'm boring everybody to death. And I just want to get this thing off my plate and go on to something that's uh, a little bit more fun. But anyway, so now we have six LEDs and seventy milliwatts. We used to talk on 100 milliwatt walkie-talkies a couple of miles. So this is a, a reasonable amount of power. Um, considering it's there for, um, I don't know, tw uh, 18 hours of the day, maybe 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 uh, maybe 18 hours of the day in summer, and, and there's still uh, a, a reasonable amount of power there at night because they only dropped the power by, uh, by 6 dB. So anyway, um, I just wanted to finish this up clear up a few questions and get this one off the table. Um, if you, if you are interested in this or anything uh, weird things like this, and, and I promise there won't be anything as boring as this again, um, please subscribe or, or, or at least give me a thumbs up. If you thought it was interesting, if you thought it really stunk, um, then, then put a thumbs down. The thing about, about thumbs down, it would really be nice to know what it was that made someone put a thumbs down. This goes for anybody's channel. Um, so you, you look and you see, typically there's about 5% of people that don't like any given video almost through any genre that you go through. And I always will often wonder, why did they not like this video? It's too bad you can't put a comment in there. Well, I don't think you were clear enough about this, or I would have liked to have seen this, or you should have taken this out. Those would be constructive uh, criticisms. And, and I think those are quite valuable. So. Anyway, the next video that's coming up is um, uh, more, <laughs> more of a jovial sort of, uh, I don't know, I won't say it's a parody or takeoff, but it's, uh, it's going to be a, a fun little project and um, stick around if you're interested in that. Uh, again, subscribe if, if, you, if you think I earned it and um, I will see you later. This is W1VLF. From the computer desk, signing off, 73s.